Keyframing is a technique that's used to automate effects. For example, keyframing can be used to add a zooming effect. Most effects in Premiere can be keyframed to automate effects and add animation. To keyframe an effect, move the playhead in the timeline to the desired start time of the automation. Then, double click the clip and navigate to the effects control panel, which is a tab in the window with the source monitor. In the following example, we'll demonstrate how to create a zooming effect. Click the stopwatch icon to the left of the desired effect. This will enable keyframing and add a keyframe, which is diamond shaped, in the miniature timeline to the right of the effects control panel. Next, move the playhead in the mini timeline to the desired end of the automation. Then, change any of the effect settings. A new keyframe will be automatically created when an adjustment is made. Now, when the clip is played, the scale will automatically increase between the two keyframes. At least two keyframes are required for every automation. To make adjustments to keyframes, use the arrows next to the effects to change the selected keyframe. Then, make changes as desired. To change the timing of the keyframe, click and drag them left or right. To delete a keyframe, select it and press the Delete key. To get rid of all the keyframes for an effect, click the stopwatch icon again and press OK on the warning message that appears. Keyframing for opacity and volume can be done in the effects control panel as described, as well as within the timeline. The following example will demonstrate how to keyframe volume changes within the timeline. To keyframe within the timeline, click the Timeline Settings button, which has a wrench icon to the top left of the timeline, and ensure Show Audio Keyframes is on. A white horizontal line will display in the audio clip. Next, select the Pen tool from the toolbar. Then, click the Audio Keyframe line on the audio clip to create keyframes. Click and drag keyframes up to increase the volume and down to decrease. To delete a keyframe, right click it and select Delete. More information about Premiere can be found in our other videos, as well as the PLU Knowledge Base.